This is one of my favorite things to do in life, estimate. So we're estimating sums and differences of mixed numbers. You're at the store, you've got $19.50, there's a candy bar, it's about worth $9.12, right? One eighth is 12 and a half cents, whatever, right? And you're like, how much money am I gonna have left when I'm done with this transaction? You don't wanna get the exact number, you just wanna figure, you wanna you know, ballpark it. So you say, I have about $20, gonna round to the nearest whole number. I'm gonna pay about $9. So I have 20 minus nine. How much money about will I have left? 11. Okay, same kind of thing. 31. My friend's gonna give me another $9-ish. 31 plus nine, that's $40-ish. It's a little bit more, but what's a dollar among friends, right? 44 and a half, this is 45. This is 28. So when we add them up, we'll get 73. Now this is an example of a weird kind of thing, right? Because you rounded both halves up, right, to 45 and 28, and you got 73. You kind of know that the exact answer is 72, right? Because you, you added a half extra each time, but we're not supposed to put the exact, this is, this is where, you know, if you're taking a test, hopefully your teacher is understanding and you say, teacher, I know the answer is exactly 72. Why are we playing this game? Well, just follow the rules here. It says round each number to the nearest whole number, then add. It's a computer. It's not smart enough to understand your logic, right? So let's just put in 73. Okay, so this is gonna be 15 and 5 sevenths is going to be 16. This thing is going to get rounded down to 11. So 16 minus 11 is going to give us 5. Okay, how about this? Well, this is around 35. This is around 22, and I think we're subtracting. I always do this thing where I draw the circle around it and I can't see, but 35 minus 22 is about, well, it's exactly 13, but the rounding happened beforehand, right? So it's 13, 35 minus 22 is 13. All right, how about this? Well, now we have 34 and we have minus 39. And we're actually gonna be negative five, right? So 30, 39 minus 34 is five. So when you flip them, you get negative five. If you're ever confused, you can always take the big one minus the small one and then just make it negative to flip it back. So it's just negative five. Okay, how about this? This is 14. This is 27. Again, 27 minus 14 is 13. So this is gonna be negative 13. Okay, how about this? This is around five. This is around 31. Put them together and you get around 36. This thing is around 26. This thing is around 41. Well, 41 minus 26 is 15. So if we do it the other way, we get negative 15. And this is gonna be 32. Oh, no, 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 almost made a mistake. Three sevenths is gonna round down to 31. This is gonna be three. So 31 plus three is gonna give me 34.
Okay, this is the same, but just slightly bigger numbers. 47 plus 26. So that's going to give us 73. Okay, well, you know, I'm sure you're going to do some of these estimates in your life. You know how those, you have those friends in your life that are good at music? Well, a lot of that is just because their brain is constantly thinking about music. They're in the car, a song's playing, they're constantly thinking about that song. That could be math for you. You could, you could just like, even in your everyday interactions, just, just think a little bit about it, right, at a young age. And then as you grow up, you'll just think more and more, and your brain is this beautiful thing. It'll, it'll automatically make you better at it if you're just interested in it. So, so just try to, try to be interested in the numbers that are around you a little bit more than you are. All right. Have a great day.